Welcome to the Ticket Demo Series. In today's presentation, we're going to highlight and present how an end user can send a direct message in Teams to an agent, and then how that agent can take uh, that message and turn it into a ticket within the service desk, route it, uh, resolve the things of that nature. On the left-hand side here, we have Adele. She is my end user in the business. And she'll be asking for stuff from the business. And on the right-hand side here, we have Diego. Uh, he is my agent in the business and he'll be receiving those requests from the business. Adele's gonna message Diego this morning. Um, his, her computer is running slow and she'll send him a direct message letting him know that. Computer is running slow. Now, Diego will receive that message in Teams like he normally does. Um, and he can respond in Teams if he wants, but because uh, he is an agent and because he has ticket installed, uh, he can do some interesting things with that message. He, there's three things he can do. He can send that message up to the knowledge base, massage it, and then make it available to all the end user experiences. Uh, he can add that message to an existing ticket, um, or he can create a ticket uh, within ticket, which is what we're going to do here. When we send that message up to the ticket creation process, a couple of pieces of data are brought over a couple of parts of the message. One, Adele's made the requester um, because she sent Diego the message. Uh, the request title is brought over from the actual message. Now, Diego can append this if he wants. Um, doesn't have to, but he has the opportunity to do that. And then Diego now has the opportunity to change the properties of the ticket. So you can change the status, uh, the type from an incident to a service request, uh, the category if he likes, priority. He also can send this ticket to any team um, that ticket's deployed to. Uh, so if this is an IT issue, he can send it to IT or HR, if it's an HR issue or facilities, if it's a facilities issue or request, things of that nature. Uh, we'll go ahead and send this to the IT team because it's a computer issue. And uh, what we'll see here is Diego will receive a notification letting him know the ticket number. The ticket 1510 was just created. And we'll also see a bunch of notifications start to fly on both sides of the screen. This is where I typically pause and highlight um, something around uh, Ticket within Teams. So Ticket um, within the Teams experience is, is a set of apps that's native to M365, that's native to Teams. Um, these set of apps work in the web, which is what you're seeing here today. Uh, it work in Teams Classic, Teams New, as well as Teams Mobile. And these notifications that you're going to see throughout these presentations are all native. So uh, just like you receive a direct message notification, you'll be sent a Teams notification when a ticket's reassigned or updated. It's context to where you can go into it and see the, de the details of, of that message um, with respect to that ticket. So ticket 15 with 10 was created. And what we'll do is we'll close this out um, and we'll show you where this went inside of Teams for Diego. Now in my business, uh, the IT team and the service desk group are the default uh, channel slash group uh, for my business. And you'll see here that uh, ticket 1510 was dropped into uh, that respective channel. Um, and Diego now has the opportunity to work on the ticket, escalate it, things of that nature. We'll pause this part of the presentation. Uh, in a future presentation, we'll, we'll walk through how Diego actually would modify that and route that and send messages back and forth between himself and, and Adele within Teams. Um, but for now, let's recap what we've done. Adele has sent a direct message over to Diego, letting him know that her computer's running slow. He's turned that message into a ticket, uh, sent it over to the service desk group to, to be triaged and worked on um, and things of that nature. Uh, thank you for watching today's presentation. And if you have any questions, please email team at ticket.ai. Thank you.